everyone and welcome to San Antonio Monthly Magazine TV. Dos Latinas right here with our beautiful Arlette Velber. How are you today, Arlette? I'm very well, thank you. Well, Arlette Velber happens to be one of the ladies that is going to tell us a little bit about the important that it is for safety and teaching your babies how to swim at a young, young age. Tell us a little bit about your company, Aquatos. Aquatos is a worldwide company. We're located in 33 countries around the world, and we're committed to teaching kids how to swim and to prevent drownings. That's right. Aquatos is a company that it is very well established. They know exactly what they're doing because they've been around for over 33 years. And Miss Arlette happens to be one of the franchise owners right here in San Antonio. I believe you have four different locations. Tell us a little bit about your locations. We have four locations in the San Antonio area, one in Helotes, one at the Rim, Potranco in 1604, and by the North Star Mall. And I believe that you're getting ready to expand, right? We sure are, and we're truly excited to bring our swimming uh, school to into the Orlando area. We have plans to open our first location in 2024. Diane? Well, we are so grateful to have Aquatots here in San Antonio. Tell us a little bit about some advice that you would give to some young mothers getting ready to put their, um, their children in swimming lessons. Absolutely, Diane. Our program starts kids as, as early as four months. We don't have an age limit. Everybody's welcome. All ages, all abilities are welcome into our swimming school. We teach kids of all ages and abilities, and our purpose is to equip them with water safety skills in an effort to prevent um, an incident or an accident in the water. I've known Outlet, you know, for a few years, and I've seen the passion that you have to teach all these young, starting from babies, kiddos. That's right. I've been through your facilities. They're amazing. And you definitely have everything that it takes to give those lessons of safety. What gave you the passion to own all the schools that you own and all the schools that you are getting ready to launch for 2024. Well, Lorena, let me tell you a sad story. I had a, an incident in 2010 with my youngest daughter. She had a near drowning experience. As a mother, it was very traumatizing to see my daughter um, being sunk into the waters and I was not able to uh, get to her. I was able finally after several seconds of uh, struggling with through the water currents to save her and that changed my life and my perspective and I dedicated myself to fully helping kids to avoid having the same issues my daughter did and to prevent them from drowning and it's my life mission. It is your life mission. You know, I know you for a few years, uh, Alet, and I, I see the dedication I see the patience, but I see the passion that you have for the parents mm -hmm. and the excitement to put all the kids to learn to swim at a young age. What advice would you give everyone out there around the world about safety in the swimming industry? In Aquatots, we call it the ABCs, Lorena. A for adult supervision. Always keep an eye uh, on your children, parents, especially when they are in or around water. B goes for barriers. If you have a pool in your backyard, please put a, um, build a fence. They're very easy to install. And C goes for classes. Swimming instruction can reduce the risk of drowning by 88%, according to the statistics. And you are absolutely correct because I am a mother of two beautiful boys. My kids in swimming lessons at the, they were four or five months. They'll be there an hour. Next thing you know, they were there four hours and then they want to get out of the water because they became very passionate. So if you see my kids today, they are water lovers, but they are also safety mm -hmm. with all the friends that surround them. The beauty about being able to take your babies at a young age to learn to swim they are going to become professionals, but they are also going to be able to save other kids' life when they're out there playing, thinking that they're having fun 
And really, it all comes down to be safe. It's all about safety. And when those kids are passionate about their sport, it's important for them to know what they're doing. But I see that in your, in your schools, you guys have a lot of fun activities. Tell us a little bit about how do you engage kids to fall in love with the water? Well, Lorena, water can be extremely fun. Nobody denies that. If we follow the rules of safety, everybody can have a, a very fun time in the water. Our coaches are trained and equipped with amazing tools. Our curriculum is exceptional, the number one in our industry. And we are trained to facilitate a teaching instruction through fun, through games, through songs, and through a great time with our students during the, the lesson. What is the key to your success? Of my success, I, I claim it to God and to God only. To God and to God only? Well, you know what, Miss Arlette, for what I see is your passion. You're very passionate about your schools. You're passionate about, you know, just the kids itself. You're very patient. It takes a lot of patience to do what Arlette does. What do you think, Deanne? Yes, I think that you have a very important job and I would like to thank you so much for everything that you do for the community and for the children that are growing here in San Antonio. Especially for all the mommies out there and parents out there that are watching this interview, please do not hesitate to get the information about how to enroll your kids. Tell me a little bit about your classes. You know, about how many kids do you have per class? Tell me a little bit about your activities in your school. So we have three types of settings. We have uh, group lessons. Our group lessons are always four students per instructor and never more than four. We have semi-privates and that's for the most part siblings that moms just want to keep together in one class. And we also offer private lessons. In the private setting, we also have a, a very special program, very near to my heart, and it's called uh, the, the SNAP program. And it goes for a special needs aquatic program. We also teach children of all abilities, uh, dis disabilities, and any kind of uh, issues they may, they may face. So we're very proud of our program. Our classes are 30 minutes long, and we have a blast. Okay, and how many classes do you have during the day? Are you open like six days a week, five days a week? Tell me a little bit about that. So two of our schools open Monday through Saturday and, and two other schools open seven days in the week. So we have classes in the morning, we have classes in the evening, we have classes Saturdays and Sundays. We try to adjust to the mom's schedule. We understand moms, moms are busy, they have many activities, they have many things to do with their children. We try to be here for you and we try to accommodate to your hectic schedule. I love that about you. I love the fact that you think of everybody's schedule and you try to make it as convenient as possible. And of course, all the instructors that you have, I know for a fact that they are all certified. How many instructors do you have, period? We have approximately 100 instructors in San, in San Antonio. 100 instructors with that tells me that you are definitely a busy, beautiful business entrepreneur, Dan. That is amazing. That is amazing that you're doing these fantastic things. And I would definitely recommend if you have any children, please call her and get signed up as soon as possible because we got to get ready for that summer. That's right. Okay, so also tell me a little bit because I noticed that you do a lot of activities with the community. You're very involved with the community and you also support a lot of the nonprofits right here in San Antonio. Tell me a little bit about that. We do. My husband and I were proud uh, to be a part of uh, the Ferrari Kid of Organization. We, we help Manny Diot with his mission and his purpose of, of helping kids facing the very challenging uh, uh, illness of cancer so we sponsor them and we work with uh, the Ferrari kid to help kids stay safe in the water as well we also have the fantastic experience of sponsoring children from the crit the Children Rehabilitation Institute in San Antonio we have connections there and they send us referrals and every referral they go they're sponsored hundred percent by Aquatots we work with kids around our communities. We, requ we request nominations throughout the year to sponsor children who've gone through trauma, like the loss of a parent uh, or something very, very dra dramatic in their lives. So we sponsor 
We have the ability to sponsor kids throughout uh, different communities in San Antonio. And we also work with Fuerza Unida. Fuerza Unida, we work together with them uh, for their toy drive and several other um, events throughout the year. We work also with a beautiful lady in San Antonio who's got a nonprofit organization and takes toys and clothing for a small village in Mexico called Zaragoza. Um, it's a very poor uh, community and we're very happy to sponsor them. And also my husband and I, we sponsor a student and uh, with their college education in Mexico. I know that you do a lot. You see why I wanted to ask that magical question? Because at least, uh, it's not just about coming here, bringing your kids and sign them up and it's running a business. Outlet is passionate about everything that she does and everything that she touches. She is always about helping, empowering, and also driving them for safety. And I love that about her. What do you think, Deanne? I am so inspired by all that you do. And I love that all the community work that you're doing here in San Antonio. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I always believe, you know, that whenever you own a business, if you just take a small percentage of your business, which is not hard, just take a small percentage and choose a nonprofit organization, it makes a difference and you could save lives and help lives. Am I correct? You're correct. You know, it just takes that little bit. So I do admire everything that you and your husband do. You guys are what we call in San Antonio, one of our power couples in San Antonio. Why? Because they understand the value of what a familiar commitment is all about. It is about safety. It is about being together and also about helping everyone that surrounds you. And I met all your three beautiful children and I was breathtaking because they are the reflection of her mother and the reflection of their stepfather. They're beautiful kids. I'm so proud of you. And you definitely are a Mexicana <laughs> in Mexico, the one that comes to the United States of America with a dream and has definitely made her dream a reality. A business entrepreneur in every aspect, in every way, she does nothing but takes her company to the next level and right along with it, she's a business and a job provider. She's providing jobs for many people out there and she's doing it the right way by being an owner of one of the franchises that is very well established for 33 years. And what I love about franchises is that they've got a platform just like the military, sweetheart. <laughs> you gotta do it by the book. And there's nothing you can do that is out of line because they will know. And that's why they have franchises in over 14 countries. That's very good to know. That is a great investment. I know it's a lot of work because I understand the franchise industry very well, Ms. Arlette. And I gotta take my hat off because you've got yourself a handful and you stay young and bonita. What do you think, Deanne? I would like to say that um, Miss Belver, every time I see her out, she is the best dressed wherever I go. That is something that I would like everyone to know about Arlette. And remember, Deanne, when I told you, do you see the beautiful young lady out there wearing that beautiful white dress? She reminds me of me when I was 25. Remember that? I do remember because that. She's so particular about, you know, how she dresses, her husband. There's just a power couple in San Antonio. We love to see that. You know, we love, we love to see people that like to set the trend and the trademark of what a beautiful couple should be all about. I want to well, give you an opportunity to ask Lorena Moreau one question. What would you like to know? I would like to know, Lorena, what kind of advice you can give a Latina like me um, navigating these waters of the unknown in 2024? Well, I believe that everything you are doing right now, it's a beautiful platform. And what I most love about it is the fact that you own a franchise, one of the most successful franchises, because it is a written book. And it's a book that the only thing you're gonna do is follow. And what you're doing right now is that you are leading by example. 
So if you ask Lorena Moreau, what advice would I give you? Continue doing what you're doing because you write on track with the way a business should be ran and the way a franchise owner should represent their franchises. So I am proud of you because I know that for the year 2024, your goal is to be able to open eight more schools. And I think that is the biggest blessing that you can do as a Latina. Orgullosamente una Mexicana haciendo triunfos, cruzando fronteras, haciendo una gran diferencia. Y lo más importante es la seguridad de nuestros hijos. Tener a nuestros hijos que siempre tengan una seguridad de saber nadar y poder ser líderes y también poder ayudar a sus otros amiguitos de ser un buen equipo de buenos nadadores. Correct. Correcto. Correcto, señora. May I say one more thing? Claro, sí. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the San Antonio community. They have treated us very well. They have been loyal. They have been very passionate. They have shared our passion to helping kids stay safe in the water throughout 11 years. It's very easy to say at the end, you know how hard it is to stay in business, but to leave it every day, it's only thanks to you through the trust you have given us. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. And thank you, San Antonio Monthly Magazine TV for allowing Lorena Monroe to be the voice of our community. Hasta la vista.